Hey, what's going on? Um, as promised uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is I will be taking my new Spheros SW6000HG, which is the 5.7 to 1 gear ratio, and um, this is the JDM reel. I paid 137 buck VBay for this, shipped, and it came really fast actually. And this, what's cool about this version is I think you get bag, which you don't get in the US model, and you also get the neoprene line holder for around the spool, which is pretty cool. And another thing I've noticed, because my friend has the regular US version, I have another PG version, which is JDM also. The handle has a little um, hole right here, as you can see, and that is the main difference. No, not actually the main difference. There's a lot of other differences. Um, this comes with felt drags instead of car cross carbon like the US model. And um, I think besides all the accessories coming with it, those are the major differences is the felt drag and this handle right here, this little modified handle. Um, and in the US, you can only get one gear ratio, which is the PG version, which is the four, four uh, in the fours, which is a slow, uh, more power, but less uh, line retrieve. So I'm going to first start off by doing the drag washers, because those are pretty easy. So I purchased these off of eBay. These are the Carbon Tex uh, carbon fiber drag washers. And these are the specific models for the um, SW Spheros. You know. So I will start with that. And I have here Cal's drag grease. So I'll apply this on the, the drags. And it's I'll start with this because it's the simplest and you have to take this off anyway to access um, what I'm gonna be doing on the reel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I will unscrew this handle just to get this out of the way. this aside and screw top of the drag knob and that will pop off and you I heard see it's got all the seals here around it. Uh, this is off you see this is the seals and I can pull this off and I'll place this aside and we'll work on that next. So here you have a little retaining clip and I'm going to go in here with um, the you know, most pliers and what you want to do is you want to get one end out here and you can take that on. You want to be careful that it doesn't fly around the room so you want to kind of cut this over sometimes. You can place that on the side, and it's pretty simple. Once I have that out, I can take off the top, and I like to put these in the order I take them out at. And so this is the top piece, and I'll place them all face the same direction as I got. This is the first drag washer, and then you got this middle retainer piece, and then you have another drag washer. These are all felt, as you can see. You have another metal. Now this one, as you can see, has a little things on the end, so it holds with the spool. The, the, this one doesn't, so this one freely spins. And then you have the, the last drag washer, and that's it. All right, so what I'll do is I am going to replace these felt ones with the carbon text. So I'll get these out and I will place them in the corresponding spots. It's strange how these are seem so much thinner, but I guess that's how they are. Um, so I'll start with the bottom one. I'm gonna just use my finger and I'm going to coat it with a liberal amount of Cal's drag grease. I wanna get enough to cover get in between the carbon grooves. This is this is raw carbon. It's it's not doesn't have any epoxy on it, so it's not smooth. So 
you can get the, the drag in between it. Nice. Gets, hold, holds on to it nice. Alright. So I'll place that one in the bottom. Next I'll drop this plate in. And you want to kind of keep keep it squared up because this shaft is kind of rectangular. So you want to try to keep these in the same direction, although they're they will spin around, but just easier to keep them, try to keep them straight. And I'll place a little more cow's drag grease here. Place this inside. Getting a little sloppy now. Place this drag metal washer. This one in the last metal piece, and then all we got to do is put the reclaiming retaining clip on, and that is all done. And uh, that's really how simple it is to replace the um, the drag washers, or even maintain them and regrease them if you needed to. So I'm gonna wipe this outside down a little. Like two. And we'll get this retaining clip ready. And start with the back down here. And get, this, get one side in. And then uh, normally you would just place it through and then it would line up into the thing so that's perfect and then um, I would just screw this on but I need to keep this off for this next part of the mod so what I'll do is place the cap back over here place that aside I am going to um, place the felt drags into what the carbon text package came into and place this aside. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the inner plate bearing with a metal bearing. So I got three of these bearings from Boca Bearing. They were about $8.50 each so it came out to about $25 shipped. This is the side plate bearing and then these are the handle bearings. So. I'll start with the side plate bearing. And to get there, you have to take off this top um, rotor to get um, the side apart. So I will start by taking, um, pulling this top piece off. So this is where the spool connects, so you just pull this straight up. this piece and then you want to take this seal off here just three screws one two three this section will come off right here and then here Seal, take the seal off, which goes under the plate. So to remember that, I will place that over here. And then I need to So, all right, so what you wanna do is for this one, it says loosen over here. So you wanna go this way. Loosen it. And that will come off. And then you can pop this straight up. And 
And then from there, we got one more metal thing around there. And then we're gonna take off the anti-reverse bearings. So this part, let me just double check. I'm gonna take this off because I'm not sure if you have to take off the anti-reverse bearings now. I think, I think we just got to that part and get this under plate. So I'm going to keep these screws in pattern order because I think one of these is longer. Actually, they... So I think from here, there are two more screws under the, the anti-reverse bearing, so we'll take this top three screws off. lift up, get the cap off, and then anti-reverse bearings right here. You could just lift it straight up. There's going to be a metal collar, but you can kind of sometimes keep that inside. But if you don't and it lifts up, you could take that up. And then I don't like to touch this with grease. So what I did was I got a fresh paper towel and I'm going to be pulling this straight up. Place this aside, and here's the washer seal. So that will go down there. And there's a the anti-reverse brake mechanism here. Is also another seal. So pull this one off. There's a bearing right here, actually. Also, but all right, you don't need to take that one off. So I'll take. What I'm going to do is just flip this up a little and over. And this side is higher, as you can see. I don't know if you can really see, but. This is going to be facing towards me, so I'm going to place that that way. I think it's a little higher. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just the way this is looks. And these are the two final screws holding on the side plate. Alrighty, finally. Now this thing should split open. Get these finally out.
These are really long. These, these two side plate screws. One. This one should be coming out. Now this side plate should come apart. So here we go. So here's another seal, as you can see. And there's the side with the bearing already. And there's a piece of. And if you look on this side, we're gonna be. You can see there's a whole seal around here. This is the tricky part of when it, putting it back together, but I know a little secret. You put a lot of grease in there and it holds everything together nice. So let's keep all this together nicely. You don't want any water penetration. So you do a lot of surf fishing. You want to keep this seal nice right here. See there's little channels it fits into. Pull this out down here. And then you can pull this gear out down here. And then you'll have access to the bearing in here. So you can take this gear out right here. And then what you want to do is you want to unscrew this. This. Finally get this bearing out. Well, this is the plastic bushing. So here we go. Here's the plastic bushing, and this is the bearing that we will be replacing it with. So I will just go ahead and uh, apply some Corrosion X on this bearing real quick. On this side. There's a little metal washer down there. Placing this right in its place with the plastic, and I will place a little corrosion X down here and bearing. And I'll put the screws back that hold the bearing in place. It's 
nice if you get magnetized. Uh, I have another set that's magnetized, but I'm not using it right now. So you want to get this there. And these screws will snug to the bearings out, outer shield. So the little trick is put a little grease there and it will kind of stick on. That screw in. These screws are tough to get in. There we go. Now I could place this cog back on. Gear. I guess this is, this is where a lot of the gear ratio comes from. Some of this stuff. And then we can place the main shaft back in. Pin that holds the main gear shaft in. Straight. Goes all the way down there. And you can put bearings and gear that spins on the main shaft. Let me uh before we do that, we gotta take this pin out so it's still loose. That falls right into there. There's a look, that should line up with the gear in there. back in, push the bearing all the way back down and it should all sit nice and just make sure your seal is still good there. And, and we can get the side plate back on now. Now we got the side plate squamished together. Now we can put the two long screws in here. All the screws that hold the side plate together. Place all those in. Start screwing all the side plate screws back in.
foam cover back on down here. Get this piece back on. reverse bearing gets lined up here. Like so. And then you want to make sure whatever you're touching this with doesn't have any grease on that side and in put the cover on for the inside reverse bearings so make sure your seal down there is placed correctly around the bottom though In good spot. Now you want to place the, the rotor on. And don't forget, you, this is the opposite to tighten, so it's going to be lefty to tighten. Which is normally the loosen. So it's on. Now you want to put... Cover shield so the water doesn't get in there. Place that over there. Back on top. And these fun little screws again. So we screw these in.
And now uh, you could put the metal piece on the bottom on. And then the plastic gear on, over it. And then the adjustable spacers for the line laying. So that's that's it. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out of my, my reel. So place these down here, push these down all the way. So place the main rotor on. And I'm gonna give it a little test spin and then uh, do the handle bearings. Spin up test. So it's all good. Tighten this now. go with replacing the handles bearing. So this is another easy one. So you take these the knob bearing, take these two knob screws off. That should expose another screw under there. And then screw that. able to take out the one plastic bearing here, copper piece, so that one is, let's see, we got two bearings here, I'll give you the part number so all the bearings in the, in the description below. So I am assuming that this is this one. Yep. So that goes in there. Let's pop the inside out. So here's the other bearing, which the screw goes in. Go ahead and replace that with this one. Before I do all that, I'm gonna put a little corrosion next on both of these. Got it facing down that way. Just this one. Just the copper piece above it. Back down in here. Now the screw's ready to go in. Tighten that screw. See, so now you got the bearing 
knob cover back on, put the screw, two screws back on and we're basically done. Now we added three more bearings to the reel. And now it has more bearings in a Saragossa. It's nice and smooth now. All right, I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. And um, if you haven't, subscribe, please, and like my video. And have a nice day, and thanks for watching.